so we finished our shopping trip today we have four bags of poi um, to get settled into the fish house there's two bags of shower from Kaze um, we have a dozen individual hand picked pieces there which we'll show you when we get them in the bowl and also um, some Akawa Shiro Tori good fish so um, let me get unbagging them all we need for this process is a clean bowl uh, the water that's in the bags and the pond which is all ready to receive the fish so first up is the um, bowl of 10 individual hand picked shower these fish are from Kaze uh, we love uh, Kaze Koi here at Elite Koi the colours are absolutely fantastic lovely thick sumi, great bodies on them yeah one of our go to uh, breeders for shower that is for sure the sumi coming on that one too, that's such a beautiful head pattern so we just had these fish exactly the same way as everybody else should add the fish to the pond just quite simply get them in a bowl and then decant the fish straight into the pond and there it goes so look at this sumi absolutely outstanding so quality of these fish and big deep bodies on them as well really really excited about these shower can't wait to get them listed on the website if there's anything that you see there then please give us a message try and circle the fish whatever you can do and we'll get your whatsapp video sent out of the koi along with uh, the price all of these koi are available to leave with us over winter still think you've got plenty of time to get these into your pond uh, before the bad weather sets in much better off in the uh, in the comfort of the forever pond if you like there we go now look at that zoom it's so so thick Kindai Kindai style shower. Beautiful. And the last one here. Turn to the pond. Again, lovely thick black sumi. Very strong Benny. Great bodies on these fish. Very powerful young showers. And there they go. Now what we'll do is we'll just dump that water you can see there's a, a bit of waste in there that'll be full of ammonia and nitrites that water will now get dumped and then we'll get the next bag of koi in so here's the second bag of koi um, 12 individually hand-picked pieces in here as always um, with these we've gone for slightly um, non-traditional koi should we say so there's Ginrin Matsukawabaki, um, Benny uh, Kikikuru, there's a nice Deuter Zagi there with quite an interesting scale pattern so we'll call that Aragoki. Remember Aragoki is the term given to the fish with the um, with the Deuter's irregular scale pattern. Some of these are really really impressive fish. The one that's really caught my eye there is this beautiful Azagi from Tanaka. Benny's just starting to come up on the sides. Just pop that under the water. You see that's almost snow as it's almost white in colour. That is a beautiful, beautiful koi. Again, these fish probably be featured in the auctions. If there's anything that you do like the look of, please uh, get in touch and we can um, send you some videos via WhatsApp. Uh, and send you the price of the koi nice Zui there just going in Ginry Mask Kawabaki 
fascinating variety of this, I love them. Beautiful, almost bluish white skin, so clean, but of course the sumi can come and go in them and the ginrin just gives them an extra little uh, well it just gives them a little something else to admire so good sized fish nice strong healthy koi as always another ginrin azagi that one's more blue in colour again the benny coming up either side oh there's a fish and a half benny uh, kikokuru stunning for that head pattern A Deutsch Soigoi Aragoki, the scale pattern, good sized fish that. Usually these earlier on in the season are much smaller, although they do have the same scale patterns. Deutsch Chugoi. This is some fish, look at that. A Deutsch uh, Shiro Toy. Almost got a metallic lustre to it, that fish. Superb. We've got a Sankey, um, a Wagoi traditional Chiro Toy, that's a nice fish, lovely pattern forming, the Sumi thickening nicely in it. The, um, as always, Goshki, Goshki, very, very popular koi, love these. Um, if you want to see what a Goshki can do and how it changes, check out our website blog on Goshki development, amazing. And of course, another Ginrin Benny Matsukawa Baki so you see the Sumi's not quite as well formed in that one it's there waiting to come through beautiful fish to watch develop so that's bowl two I'll just pop the rest of these koi in and then we will uh, discard the water and carry on with the next bowl Goshki and Sankey, oh look that Sankey, got a hell of a body on it. Lovely Benny as well, it's getting a, developing a lovely pattern. Yeah, good fish, as always. There they are, just settling in, finding the way around the new home. So back to ball three, folks. Here we have a ball of, um, I think it's 22 Kaze show in there. Kaze show these fish are absolutely ideal size and at the right time development to get in and get growing on so they, uh, they will next season of course be Nisai this season's Tosai fantastic development on them already I mean, that's a good size fish there probably looking 25 26 cent cm and a lot of these koi will of course um, feature on one of our auctions possibly start off on the band auctions and um, we'll also put some on our live koi auction which is held every Saturday um, and it's streamed live across Facebook and also YouTube so the Facebook group is Elite Koi Keepers send us a message to join that uh, it will let you in we also have a business page called Elite Koi and Ponds, which you can look at. It gives you all the details of what's happening at Elite Koi. And of course, the YouTube channel Elite Koi, where if you subscribe to that channel, you'll get first notification when these fish are listed on the website. Again, always let us know. Always let us know if you see something that you like give us a message and we'll try and work out which fish it is give us a call ideally uh, always happy to help at Elite Koi myself Michael or Deck will bowl and photograph the fish and get back to you so I'm just going to finish these off now 22 cars a shower ideal for growing on ideal for getting in ready for next season start next season look at the colours and the sumi beautiful Kaze one of our favourite uh, shower breeders great um, great great breeder of shower and really really good value for money too
So our final um, box of koi. This one contains 20 uh, shotori from the Kawa koi farm. So a good mixture of ginrin, non-ginrin. Um, we also try and get a good mixture where the sumi is through and also somewhere the sumi is waiting to come through. So again, all these koi being hand selected um, by myself and Tracy today. Always tricky to know which one is your favourite. So that there is absolutely beautiful. Look at the pattern. Beautiful white stroji. Ginrin's very strong. Still sumi to come through on that koi as well. Lovely head pattern. Strong motor guru in the pecs. <coughs> Excuse me. So there we go. Traditional Chiratori, non Ginrin, very deep bodied Akawa do do a, uh, a good Chiratori. We first came across them last season and we've been very impressed with them. There's one with still lots to do. You can see where the Sumi is lying under the skin. And I think sometimes with Chiratori it's almost a leap of faith. You know, there's motor guru in the pet fins there, you can see the Sumi under the skin. And it could be a combination of. Um, temperature and just getting that fish settled down before that sumi really starts powering through. We have found with the Akawa fish however that the sumi does thicken quite quickly. So another one there that classic checkerboard style pattern but there is still sumi under the skin. That's got to be one of the contenders for best fish in the bowl without a shadow of a doubt. More gin ridden fish Zooming very well through on there. We do like a show sorry this one here. Lovely mask on the face, on the head. Yeah, just pleasant, really pleasant. Strong bodied fish as well. I mean look at the depth of the body. The fish is probably about 18 to 20 centimetres. Ideal for growing on, watching, develop and learning from. So that's it folks, I'm just going to get these flicked in the pond, we'll dump that water there and then we will um, see if they're interested in a little bit of food. To say that they've only just arrived, it may be a big ask, they look perfectly happy in there. So have a good mite, a good bet that they will come up and have a feed. <laughs> 